Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 794. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 792 to 794, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to see some conditional formatting tricks. I want to highlight the smallest value in each row yellow and the biggest green. Uh, we also are going to highlight the three biggest values, a certain color, and we'll see how to highlight the three smallest values, a certain color. And this is in a row, right? So these three values are the smallest values in this particular row. Let's go over to 794.1. When you're doing conditional formatting, it all comes down to true and false. So here we have some numbers, and actually these are randomizing numbers. So if I hit the F9 key, the F9 key evaluates, and you can see there's a a ran between, that just generates a number between uh, 100 and 200. Right now, this is the smallest number. So our conditional formatting needs to look at the whole row and say which one is the smallest. If this number in this cell is the smallest of all in the row, it should get a true here. When it's true, the formatting is applied. Because this one, this one, and this one are not the smallest, they will get a false. So it all comes down to true or false. True, the formatting is applied. False, the formatting is not applied. Now we're going to use a true-false formula over here, or a, a logical formula. So, I'm, and ultimately, we're going to have to put it up into home conditional formatting. And there's a dialog box up here. We have to put our true-false formula. But sometimes it's much easier to have an area the same size as the area you are applying conditional formatting and build the true-false formula. So let's click in this cell and say equals. Now I'm going to click on this cell. And this formula is going to be copied down and over. And that's a relative cell reference. And so it will be fine. It's asking the question, is the number in the cell? And now we need to say equal to the smallest. So we're going to use the min function. I'm going to highlight the row. And the whole trick to this conditional formatting is that we lock the row ref the column reference a and d so i'm going to hit the f4 key 1 2 3 times that way because this is a formula copied to 1 2 3 4 cells in this row so as we copy it to the side the letters column references need to be locked ah but when we go down to the next row the two are the the row references are not locked they'll turn to threes which will be just fine let's control enter and then i'm going to copy it over and down. Notice that's a two-step process. So right now, yes, this is the smallest. If I hit the F9 key, boom, now you can see uh, that one is the smallest. Now let's just check this out. You see that, sure enough, the uh, threes turn, the twos turn to threes, which is just what we want. That means everything in this row is looking at locked this row. So now, this is the formula a logical formula that evaluates to true or false. In the uppermost corner, so I'm going to copy that, Control-C. I'm copying it in edit mode. Now I'm going to highlight this whole range here. And that active cell must be the, uh, the active cell because we copied the formula from there. Remember, this is not necessary for doing conditional formatting. But when you're learning how, it's nice to see on the face of the spreadsheet how the thing's working. Now, with this range highlighted and that the active cell, we go to, I don't know, Manage Rules. And then here we go. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts, Alt-O-D. right? And then I'm going to click New Rule. I'm going to click Use Formula to determine which cells get formatting. I'm going to click right here, Control-V. Now I can format however I want. I'm going to say Yellow. All right, and so then each value, uh, each row gets its own yellow f indicating the smallest value. Now, with this range still highlighted, I'm not going to build the max format, because remember, we want max and green. I'm not going to build it in the cells over here. We'll build it in the dialog box. Same thing, Alt-O-D. I'm going to click New Rule, Use Formula, click down here. Now, I'm going to build my formula in this dialog box. So maybe, maybe I'll move this up like this. I'm going to click on the cell. And notice, by default, it's locked, so I have to hit F4 three times to make it a relative cell reference, equals. And instead of min, we'll use max, open parentheses, and I'm going to highlight this range. By default, they come locked, so I'm going to hit F4 twice to lock the column, but not the row, close parentheses. Remember, that's a logical formula that delivers trues and false. So now if it comes out true, we got to tell it what format and whatever 
whatever format you choose. And by the way, you could do borders, font, and even number. Numbers new in 2000 and. Uh, 7 and 10. Click OK, click OK. Now there's two of them. Click OK. Right? And now I'm going to hit the F9 key just to uh, randomize those and you can see there's the smallest, there's the biggest. Alright, let's go over to our next one. This one is highlight the three biggest. So we're not going to use min or max because those give you the first biggest or the first smallest. We want to use the large. If only I could spell. It wants the array. Well, we're going to highlight that same range. That, remember, this is a logical formula that goes um, uh, copied to the side. We need it locked, so I'm going to hit F4 and lock the column reference. Comma, and I'm going to link it to this cell right here, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. Now, what does large do? It will actually look through here and find the third largest. I'm going to close parentheses just to see how this works. I'm going to uh, Control Enter and copy it, and then copy it down. This, so this is actually delivering a number, right? <coughs> so we can see here the third largest. There's the first, second, third. So the whole row is giving us an 11. Well, we're going to amend this formula because remember we want uh, one, two, three values. So we can simply create a logical formula. I'm going to hit F2 in the active cell, and I'm going to say same thing as in our last. Um, uh, video, we are actually asking the question about each cell, so I'm going to click in A2, and then I'm going to say, is this greater than or equal to the third largest? So, for example, down here you could see the 69. Is 77 greater than or equal to 69? True. 87? True. 69? True, because we want the third one. That equal sign will capture it. Not only that, but the large function, well, no, let's, let's enter this and then we'll see how it works. That formula right there, I have it in edit mode. Notice that all of the cells are highlighted. So if you want to populate all the cells with anything from the active cell, you hold Control and Enter. And now we get true, true, true there for one, two, three. Those should have the color. Same thing as before, you scoop the uh, uppermost left corner formula in edit mode, Control C, Escape, Highlight, Active Cell, Alt O D, new rule. It actually could be Alt O D N. We'll do that next time. Formula, Control V, and then apply some formatting. And so now we can see the top three are highlighted, and when there's a tie, the large function will capture that tie. There, there it is right there. So F9, F9. You can see that the top three are always being highlighted. Now, for our next one, 7943, uh, well, I'm simply going to highlight this. And you can guess right off the bat, the same. this is the bottom three. So I'm going to say uh, less than is this cell less than or equal to instead of large, we'll say small. Same thing as, this, as the formula is copied to the side, the column references need to be locked. That one needs to be locked everywhere, close parentheses. Now, notice I highlighted everything in advance. So I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter. I'm going to go ahead and get this formula in the upper left corner, copy. Actually, let me show you here. I'm going to copy this formula just to show you. Actually, yeah, just to show you that any active cell. So when I highlight this, I'm going to make sure that that cell right there is the uh, active cell because I'm copying it from here. So Control C. So you have to either click from there, or there is a keyboard shortcut to jump from corner to corner. It's Control period. So now Alt O D. Notice that cell is the active cell. That's where the formula came from. I'm going to click here and Control V, and then format it something like. Uh, how about that, the smallest values. If I have a dark value color, then I need a light font color. All right, and so it looks like, boop, boop, boop. The, right there, we can see the three smallest values, three smallest values, three smallest values. All right, uh, that was three, four conditional formatting. Uh, highlight the min in a row, the max in a row. Highlight the top three in a row, and highlight the bottom three in a row. All right, we'll see you next trick.